Well, hello, this is Rochelle, and thank you for joining me here on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel. Today I'm using the Faithful Digitals for August, which is called um, Amazing Grace. The, the Faith Art Box is called Amazing Grace, and it's so beautiful, and this devotional is just so incredibly powerful. I can't wait to get the actual uh, kit in my hands. We are currently on... Uh, a level two alert level two for our country and so uh, hopefully soon we'll be able to get international mail again so you'll see that i've got this little label type thing with the three hearts the three repeating hearts and that little image on the faithful digitals was also in a previous stamp set so i'm going to be doing a repeating stamp on this blank page in my ESV interleaved Bible. An interleaved Bible is a Bible that has a blank page next to each typed up page. These Bibles are actually very scarce at the moment here in South Africa, as I believe we were told that they are out of print. Um, so very much enjoying mine. And then I'm going to be using the three Creative Retreat kits. Ah, oh, kits, ink pads. <laughs> this is a pigment ink pad, so it is permanent, even if you work um, over it with water and I'm just going to be doing some random repeating stamps so they're going to be in kind of a line they don't have to be straight it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to kind of be and so I'm going to be repeating it between these three color inks and creating my very soft background like that I find this a good idea especially if you uh, want a muted kind of background that isn't in your face to do repeat stamping uh, you can do this even with a word um, like I've done it with coffee before <laughs> put a stamp just repeating coffee uh, all the time so this st the colors of the pigment ink that I'm using is rose corsage golden sun kiss and powder puff blue and that's what I'm going to be using for the background. Um, and you don't have to watch me stamp the entire page <laughs> with these stamps. So I'm going to put it on fast forward and get it done real quick. And while I'm doing this, obviously, we're focusing on the Word of God. And the Word of God today is from John 13, verse 34, where Jesus says that he gives us a new commandment to love as he has loved us. <laughs> And that by the love we have for one another will show the world that we are his disciples. That is the, the indicator that we follow Jesus is by how we love one another. Not by how cute our speeches are. Not by how well listened to our sermons are. Not by the amount of followers or the amount of um, uh, likes and comments you have none of that makes any difference if we don't love one another now not just love one another in the way that the world kind of perceives love um, it's not the you know be nice to you to your face and then backbite you behind your back kind of thing that this is speaking about this is speaking about loving others as God has loved us <laughs> And God loved us, and we read that um, in, in John 3.16, where he says he gave his only son, his only son. <laughs> like, it's not like he had a choice and chose the worst behaved one. He gave his only son to die for our sins. And because he first loved us, we can love him back. Now... For me, I've so been challenged by this word on forgiveness this month uh, for various reasons, but really more so to share my testimony. Uh, my testimony is one of, of the fruit of forgiveness. I, I clung to unforgiveness for so long in my life that it made me this, or I, I actually called myself a rock, an island, because nothing got to me. And the thing is, that caused so many health problems, um, and it was just horrible. That unforgiveness created a root of bitterness into my heart, and my heart was horrible. It was hard, and just 
stone cold. And I couldn't love others the way Christ loved me or God loved me because I didn't want to love like he loved in forgiving me all my sins, no matter what, in giving and sacrificing his own life for us. I didn't want to do that. Um, and this is, it's a, it's a problem. <laughs> sin or unforgiveness is also a sin. So we need to today show amazing grace to others as well. It's a confronting word. It's a cannot hide this sin anymore kind of word. Um, we read also in Ephesians 5 where God speaks to the husbands and he says, Love your wives as Christ loved the church, giving himself for her. So we are so loved. We are loved and forgiven and with that loved and forgiven that we have we need to extend the same thing to others we were once lost and bitter and hard and stone cold but then we become a heart of flesh um, a giving heart when we allow Christ to love and forgive through us to love others the way that he has loved us uh, I'm just using a indentrine blue pet artist pen in an in a S nib, which is the super fine nib, and I'm writing down the lyrics of the song "Amazing Grace," um, just to create a little bit of further background in between the little hearts. And I understand that the Lord loves me, so He loves me. He forgives me. I am loved. I am forgiven, and I need to in the same way love and forgive others creating some splatters with the uh, planetarium blue ink which is like kind of like a denim color it's beautiful um, and outlining my word and calling it a page thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate it uh, go check out the other girls pages i think all of us were so confronted by this word and we're so thankful for the real word that um, is brought out in devotions by a, a wonderful companies like Creative Retreat. It confronts us and we can change. We don't have to be sad, we can change. And so today I'm choosing to change, I'm choosing to love and to forgive like I am loved and forgiven. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>